We found that for women in developing countries, every additional child costs this woman around 13% of her salary. This is a large number. It's as large as you will find in developed countries. Evidence from the United States shows exactly the same. And this evidence comes from our, from our paper, comes from looking at 21 countries in Latin America, in Asia, and in Africa. So to the best of our knowledge, this result is the most comprehensive analysis that has been done for developing countries. We found that there is important variation in two aspects. One aspect is the gender and the age of the child. So the younger the child is, the more costly it is for the women's wages. And in gender terms, it matters only for adolescents. While adolescent boys basically have no effect on the women's wages, an adolescent girl gives a premium. And it's a premium basically because this adolescent girl is going to take the role in terms of child caring or child rearing for the, for the mother. Right? The other aspect is that there is a substantial differential effect when it comes to education of the mother. For low-educated mothers, we see that premium that I just mentioned at a, at a higher rate. For high-educated mothers, those who have secondary education or more, the premium doesn't exist, and the penalty is pretty much the same uh, for these high-educated mothers, regardless of the age of the child. I think our work, combined with another big literature that focuses on early childhood development, suggests that if we really create some childcare centers that on one hand will help children to develop their cognitive and non-cognitive skills that for sure will have an impact in the long run, you can also be helping women by liberating their time so they can actually join the labor force. Following our results, they will also have the possibility of earning more and that has big implications in terms of empowerment, in terms of the role of women in the household, and in, in, terms, of, uh, in, in terms of the development uh, of the economy as a whole.